All right, we're here in the IBM area in uh, the Las Vegas Convention Center at CES 2008. We're talking to Marco from Emotive, uh, which is a company that's partnered with IBM. And essentially what the demo he's about to show us involves this little uh, setup on his head, uh, an EEG system reading his brain waves, and then uh, making the corresponding facial movements that he makes on this avatar on the screen in front of us. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, Marco's going to give us a big smile and then the avatar is going to do it as well. Is that cool? Absolutely. So what you're seeing on screen here is the expressive suite and uh, it provides a series of detections around facial expressions. Mm -hmm. So you've seen smile and a few others on screen there. I can blink and wink and look left and right, smile, clench my teeth, or look angry. Arr. And uh, basically we're showing that to just demonstrate how it can enrich an experience in a virtual world, how it brings an avatar to life and communicates your emotion so directly, you know, there's no more typing, no more abstraction of your feelings through the keyboard. You just smile and it happens on screen. So for social networking applications, it's great because it's so natural. You know, it can also be used to interact with AI. So if you're smiling, we know that you're happy and the AI can joke around with you. All right. And uh, there's a couple other suites that you have here too. What are those two? So we also have uh, the effective suite, which is measuring emotion. So I'm on camera, so I'm predictably excited. But um, basically that measures excitement at the top end and calmness down the bottom. So if I try and calm down a bit, I'll be able to bring that line down. Okay. All right. We're going to have him mellow for a second. You've, you've maxed me working. out. <laughs> you've maxed me out. You can vouch for the fact that it uh, you know, can make me excited to be on camera. But uh, basically... There's a range of applications here as well. You know, this could control the body language of your avatar. So if you're excited, you have open, large body language. If you're calm, you'd be more mellow and relaxed. It can control things in games like dynamic difficulty adjustment. So if you're calm and not really getting into the content, you can drop in more AI, have a more immersive experience and really get people engaged. But that would involve the uh, actual software that you're interacting with or the virtual world to be responsive to your character's demeanor. Exactly, and that's why we're working with IBM and game developers around the world. And it provides that new level of interaction which wasn't there before, so that's really the difference here. This level of information just wasn't available before. And then what's the cognitive suite do? Well, you need to verify first that I've calmed down a bit. Okay. Check that out. Yeah, his, his levels are coming down a little bit. I'm getting comfortable. Now we have to get put the camera light on him. If we had like a big light, we could jack him back above that red line. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, so let's show the. They're plateaued when you got nervous. Okay, so this is the cognitive suite, which enables me to interact with a, a virtual object um, just by thinking about it. So I'm going to think about pushing that cube away, and it's going to happen on screen. Okay. So this, uh, again, this you know, has a variety of applications. You can imagine it you know, controlling magic on screen. You know, it brings to mind things like telekinesis and the force, you know, common fantasies in gaming and entertainment um, that are enabled by the headset completely wirelessly and just by the power of your mind. All right, but so for now, it's primarily targeted towards gaming, but obviously, like, in the future, this sort of sky's the limit. So you could use this for like autism research or controlling your car with uh, your body language or something like that. But Absolutely. I mean, we're really excited about the applications that this is going to open up. You know, we're getting approached by people in a variety of industries, and that's been really, really positive for us. And we look forward to all those applications in the future, yeah. All right. Thanks so much, Marco. Thank you. Have a good CES. You too. <laughs>